Welcome back to the Musketeers podcast. We have myself, Anderson, Sayan, and Jose, the podcast where we talk about everything and anything. Yes, sir. Have you guys seen what's happening with uh, the World Qatar World Cup? Yeah. What y'all think of it? All the controversy and stuff. It's a pretty hard one because, I mean, it's it's about culture and about other another country's beliefs. Can you really just come and say, like, you should do this and do that? Eh. But also about human rights, you know, <laughs> especially nowadays with all the LGBTQ stuff, you know, <laughs> a Ooh, sensitive next. topic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sensitive topic for sure. Uh, no, but I, I think it's interesting because a lot of people are saying you should boycott this World Cup, right? Uh, obviously, it's a money move for FIFA. And um, I don't think us as like people watching boycotting will change much. I don't think they'll say, oh, we'll stop this World Cup and just do it next year. You think they even should have allowed the World Cup to be in Qatar? Bro, the thing is, it's a money move for FIFA. How is it a money move? Bro, Qatar has a lot of money. They probably paid FIFA to do that, to have the World Cup. I don't want to be throwing out these accusations. Did you see the rumors that... Bro, it's smart um, for them. I'm not accusing them. Did you see the rumors that they actually paid people to go to the streets and, like, pretend they're fans of different countries and shit? Really? Yeah. Who, Qatar? Qatar, yeah, yeah. Bro, they have a lot of money. (laughs) I, really I mean, there are rumors, obviously, nothing's yeah, yeah, obviously. confirmed, but they say that the government paid people to literally go out in the streets and, like, put on um, football jerseys, and it was hella sus, because uh, on the jerseys on the back, it was written, like, um, Brazil fan, or stuff like that, like, oh, yeah, you don't weird. get, yeah. where, where, are you, where are you getting that? <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> <That's happy laughs> but, yeah, remember the other day, when I was talking to him, I was talking to you, you both of you guys. <laughs> when we came back from his sister's house, like hella late, and we were in the contact, mm-hmm. uh talking about oh. everything. <laughs> and uh, I was saying that in my ethics class the other day, we were we were like seeing examples of like businesses when they oh. have to adapt to different cultures. And we were seeing this one case where uh, I think, if I'm not getting this wrong, where IKEA uh, just had a new store in Saudi Arabia. And uh, there, they're like, when it comes to women, they have like their culture. So the store manager of IKEA uh, might be getting the details a little fuzzy, but like the store manager of IKEA um, removed all the women uh, from the pictures in IKEA because it was like, it was women in pajamas and like, like you could see, it was just like things that you typically wouldn't do in their culture. If I remember correctly, you told me it's because they weren't wearing their jobs. No, it was just because, I mean, yeah, they weren't covering. Yeah, exactly. Their, like they just weren't respecting the their cultural culture, yeah. norms of the country. And we had like, we had to decide like uh, what IKEA should respond with. Like what would be the ethical response to such a thing? And it was like, do you just take the store away? Do you ask the store manager to put back uh, the women? Do you ask the store manager to put the women, but like with the cultural norms? So it would be like women with hijabs or something. And after it just came into a bigger discussion of like, when is it like, when are you respecting a culture and when are you just ex- uh, accepting something that is wrong? Or like, what is that boundary, you know? Because like sometimes that, that line is very blurry. Yeah. Uh, see, culture is really hard. Because for us, for example, I mean, I don't think in Angola we have anything crazy like that. But uh, for me, it feels wrong to like go to somebody's house and say, oh, you're doing this wrong or not. Right? Yeah. So y- you can't just say their culture is wrong. Maybe them not wanting women on the, on the, it's a billboard, right? I mean, just like, you know, like they have photos yeah, whatever, to display but, the furniture. Whatever, but them, yeah, not, yeah. them not wanting the women there. It's hard because it's not only culture now, it's about um, equal rights. Like and women's it's much bigger, right? Yeah. But I don't know what I would do as a CEO there. See, see but that was the, the issue was like one of IKEA's main core like values when you look at it. It's like it is about, it's not directly about women's empowerment, but it's like human's right, equality. And so if that is one of your core values, like it's hard to to do business in cultures where like according to your norms, I'm not saying like it's right or wrong or whatever, but according to your norm norms, that's not something that you would do. Well, then, in that case, maybe they shouldn't. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, yeah, that's they shouldn't kind of, go there. Yeah, and that's kind of like what happened with the Qatar thing. Like, 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 gay people can't attend 
or if they can they have to can't hide openly, themselves yeah. can't op- can be openly gay or queer um like you can't uh be with your like wife like normally like you can't show any affection it kind of takes away like you being able to fully enjoy the moment but after it is just you are respecting their culture and that but that's also kind of the beauty of the world cup it's like you get to put in display all the other cultures of the world true but i think it's the first time where it it's kind of a different situation where the country is kind of you know very different from the usual um from the past places that there there were world cups you know but that's kind of what we want why is that bad (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's not bad but you know when it contradicts so much things that so many things that people have been fighting for for so long it kind of gets complicated you know i agree like i I don't think the world cup should have been in qatar because uh, bro i don't know if you've seen for me this is absurd i think i've told you guys you can't dr- register to get a hotel room with a partner if she's not married to you if you guys aren't married yeah Th- that for me is crazy even for the players if like you have a girlfriend and you want to bring her with to you to qatar and how do you do that like it's, it's crazy but that's to just me. yeah it's crazy to us but like uh maybe to them it's crazy how yeah. uh like here in europe you'll just sleep with a girl that you don't know in the same like apartment or room or share room even if it's not sexual or anything but just doing that for them it's disrespectful yeah but they're not the ones organizing it you know i mean fifa isn't from originally like the the owners yeah, of fifa I and stuff aren't culturally the same as them FIFA. so if they really go against what you believe in why even try to do this this deal with them yeah i think fifa being an no i think it's european right probably yeah, yeah but yeah whatever being a european organization it should, it should not follow, but it should uh, keep those standards uh, that Europe r- respects and fights for. That's the only thing I think. But yeah, like it, it's sad because a lot of people actually want to boycott the World Cup. So what do you do now? Like, do you, what would you do? Are you gonna watch the games? I, I am. I know I am. Is that bad though? Actually, it's an uh, international group. No, it's international. But where? Yeah. No, it, no, it really says international governing. So they have an area for Africa, Asia, oh, Europe, well. North and Central America, yeah, and case. the Caribbean. And so they really it, have. Though. Yeah, true. You know, then I don't know. It was founded yeah. in Switzerland. Okay, so. Oh wait, Europe. No, their headquarters yeah. are in Switzerland, founded in Paris, France. Europe. So Europe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but after it's like something can. Yeah, evolve. it expanded obviously, sure. but. I mean, if m- it's a values. direct contradiction yeah. with their with your values, you know, yeah, you can't impose it, anything it, there. The like thing is, on, sorry, FIFA was never known to be soccer in general was never known to be a super equal rights game and super like right. No, game. but did you like, even for LGBTQ community? Uh, there's not many players that are, are openly, openly gay. gay. The even soccer, right now, like soccer, Mbappe football. dating a transgender woman, it like, caused a lot of scandal. A, yeah uh even like football for women like they get paid a lot less like people don't watch like but that see, doesn't have to do with uh with gender it has to do with fifa and gender yes no not? how not what it's not mean? it's about the viewership that you that you get women a lot less people bro, watch f- women you know so what they don't generate FIFA? as much money but fifa has the money to promote but you can't football. But even no, it's the people experience. that have to watch it bro but it's because fifa doesn't promote it as much bro so no I'm it's not sorry. as competitive it's, i'm sorry but they're the level of play hey, isn't the yo. same <laughs> no but it's true careful I, I, what saw, you say. I saw something uh shack <laughs> i saw an interview the other day of shack and he was saying like you know the wnba like the, yeah, the yeah. games are actually good so that's why i know all about this because i yeah that's yeah. a really often uh, and he subject. said that like it is competitive but like it's way too high for women to be able to dunk and he said i know that we want to keep like things equal right but it, it's just like physiologically women it's it's less likely for them to be as tall as men mm-hmm. so he said that they should just put the basket a little lower a yeah. little lower so women should be able to dunk and after it, it would have because that's what's missing in women's uh basketball games it's like we love dunks and seeing aerials and all of that and, and women can't do that that'll agitate the crowd that'll get people motivated It'll and when you know them. that you're you're going to a WNBA game and you're not going to see a single Bro, dunk oh good it's complicated i don't know if you've ever seen i'm talking about football because that's i mean yeah i understand yeah. football better than basketball but i've seen the finals of like i, I think i saw france united states something like that the final of the the world cup the female world cup 
and uh, it was a pretty good game. Sure, it wasn't at the level that it wasn't a final for male football, but it was still pretty good, and I was entertained. I think if female football isn't as big as it could be, it's because FIFA doesn't promote it that much. Okay, maybe they don't promote it as much, but f- as a fact, they don't create as much revenue as male oh, good, uh, games do. But then you can't say They that. don't have the same viewership. Oh, and good. if you don't have that type of viewership, you're not generating money. I get so it. So where's your salary going to come from? Business-wise, that's smart. But then you can't say that FIFA is all about equal rights. No, but did you see uh, in Qatar, they actually said that they would uh, f- uh, put, like, uh, LGBT flags and shit that, all over the stadium. I don't, know, I don't know if that was FIFA. That was the the, the teams. Because, for example, France, the French team, they're going to wear um, LGBTQ brace, Not brace, uh, like, the thing you put the around. Flag. Yeah, but around their arms. And some players said they wouldn't do it because they want to respect the culture. Are they wrong? <laughs> See, the, the, it's well, really actually, hard to debate. Yeah. yeah, but after that, it also goes into the question of, like, when is something, like, good and bad? Like, I don't know if, like, there's so many situations, like, in life or, like, in the world that you never know if it's something good or something bad. Remember, like, <laughs> we were, when we were debating about uh, Thanos and the end game. Oh, yeah. Because, like, you were saying that, uh, what were you saying? If you wanna? All right. What I said. Yeah, getting, getting canceled <laughs> now. No. What I said was, I don't think Thanos is wrong. I don't think, I don't think what he wants to do is wrong. I think the way he wants to reach the end goal is wrong. The means doesn't don't justify the action. I think I actually cool. watched a really interesting video about uh, Thanos's motivations. And the fact that a lot of people agree that um, what he wanted to do, like the Off end the goal, yeah. wasn't wrong, um, but the means was wrong. Exactly. Like, why not instead of eliminating half of the population, why not double the amount of resources or create like, another planet? Like, or yeah, because he had so much. He had all the power in the universe. He could do anything. Yeah, yeah, and he chose to kill half of the people so uh, it's so what is, what was good or bad you exactly know? <laughs> like i think what he did was bad but, but the motivation the motivation to him bad. but even in avengers endgame they do make it a point like in the beginning they do show that like uh there i mean people lost their family members and friends but like there was more nature out in the world some extinct species mm-hmm. came back and like they did show that there is benefits uh, benefits yeah yeah. So when is it okay to do something bad for the greater good, you know? Like yeah. That. I don't know, bro. I don't think you should. Ev- it co- I don't know if you guys studied this in uh, philosophy last year, but I did. And it's, we did uh, not pay attention to philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, something is moral when, and obviously it depends on the, on the philosoph and blah, blah. But something is moral when it doesn't affect the happiness of others. Or it doesn't disturb the happiness of oh, society yeah doesn't disturb society i think killing somebody like tanis did mm. affects people therefore yeah, it's sure. bad like not just people like majority of people think it's bad so it's bad i don't know if it makes sense i get it i get it but then it also depends on the context because you know he was trying to do something that no one else would you know had the courage to do yeah. for the greater good because you know people like, if you tell someone to sacrifice something that they really love for the greater good, they might not do it. Because, you know, technically, that's kind of bad for the person, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Bro, remember, I th- yesterday, after you left, well, we were trying to decide on, like, what we were going to talk about today. I said uh, sacrifice as, like, uh, like, especially these last two weeks, since it's been really intense for us for, like, end of university, since we're having, like, final exams and we've just been studying. Like, sometimes I feel like... Like, these past two weeks, I've, like, been more selfish. And uh, because it's, like, I'm not... I'm going out less with friends or, like, doing less kind things because I'm, like, no, I need to focus on me and myself. And I always think of, like, when you do something nice for somebody, like, it's... A kindness is a sacrifice. It's, like, if I'm giving... If I'm giving you my time or I'm giving you, like, food or money, like, I'm taking... I'm losing something to give to you. And, like, what do y'all think of... Like, like for example, if you don't give to charity, if you don't like, when is an act selfish, or when is it like necessary and stuff? Like, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Hmm. Like, because sometimes when people come up to me in the street, oh. and uh, like they ask, uh, and they ask me for money or like food or something, like sometimes I do have like money, 
and I just, but I know I don't know what you're gonna do with this money. I don't know if it's actually gonna help you. Uh, sorry, this is a bit off topic, but I saw a video actually about that, and it's um, it was a, a lady saying we can't judge homeless people for like if we give them money, they go buy drugs or whatever, because we don't know what they're going through, bro. The truth is, even if they buy drugs, it, it's bro. It's so hard to live on the streets. We don't know what it's like. So you can't judge them. Yeah, but if if I if I give you money to go buy drugs, like it's not beneficial you're helping, for you. But you are helping them. No, if you're gonna buy drugs, it Bro, it contributes to your to your downfall because if you keep consuming drugs, you won't like get better. But if you go buy them food, all right, they ate. After that, they're back to the same situation. Like, but at least they ate. Yeah, but then they get that temporary high from the drugs. You know, they'll it, feel it better. Helps them. I don't know. Like I know it's bad. I, no, I'm not. I'm not. Bro, I'm not hey, saying yeah. it's good. Hey, hey, bro. Here's some cocaine. Don't worry about it, bro. I'm trying no, to understand his point no, of view. I, you know, I'm all against drugs and all of that because for me, I don't like it. But I mean, these days, you know. <laughs> Yo, but I saw that and I was like, crap. I always use that as an excuse to not give people money and to not help. But the truth is, you are helping them by giving them money. I wouldn't be able to say if I know, but nah. <laughs> oh, I'm in the I summer, know it's crazy. It's crazy. In the summer, I was with the uh, Shaina and Anton, and what? no, were you there? I think I was. Yeah, I remember when Which we were in, in Lisbon and we were sitting down. No, I don't. You weren't there. Maybe you not. weren't there. And uh, yeah, this dude comes up to us, and uh, he asks us for money. And uh, like first, Shaina pretends that she doesn't speak Portuguese. <laughs> she doesn't really give money to the guy. And I look at the guy and he's like, oh, I think he just wants some food. So I give him like two euros. And, and like he starts off his speech like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I just need some food and stuff. And as soon as we give him the money, he's like, honestly, I'm going to go smoke right now. <laughs> like he, he actually told he you that <laughs> while I gave him the money. He goes, yeah, uh, it's just like I'm going through it like a hard time. And it's like y'all can't judge. Like he, he was a bit drunk. This is when we realized oh. that, that he was drunk. And he goes like, yeah. I'm just going through a tough time right now, and uh, I'm probably going to use these euros to go buy a cigar or something, but thank you. Like, honestly, thank you. And he went on this rant for, like, five minutes, and me and Lanzun are just like, there, fuck, what did we get ourselves into? Um, yeah, I don't know. Can you judge Can you judge people if you haven't been on their shoes, bro? Like, you can't. I mean, that's that's always what they taught us, right? It's like, uh, you got to, what is that called? Like don't you, judge them book by its cover no not I just know, someone, yeah. but it's like you gotta w walk a mile oh uh and somebody else's oh, shoes yeah, to, to really understand yeah but i don't know it's like for me if i give somebody money and i know they're gonna use it for drugs then i didn't help you <laughs> for us it does but see it, it goes back to what we were talking about good and bad like uh it, for you you're not helping them but i bet they will be grateful to you because drug is bad like don't use drugs obviously but in that little moment, like, for them, it's going to help them, and they're going to feel better about themselves, bro. Oh, but that's kind of, like, I was saying before, like, sometimes I'm, like, oh, when I justify myself, or, like, when I feel bad for, like, not going out with my friends or, like, going enjoying something mm -hmm. with my friends or something or family, I'm, like, okay, I'm doing something now because then, like, in five, ten years' time, like, I know that this little project or this little sacrifice would have led to something uh, greater. I hope. But <laughs> I, I can't know for sure, but that's what I hope. So it's like right now it could be considered something bad, but like in the future it becomes something good. Oh, definitely. So that's when it becomes like blurry, like what is good and bad. Going back to Thanos, like I bet that if he managed to kill everybody and blah blah, like not everybody, but if kill <laughs> half of the population, it might have been something bad in the moment. But in like a hundred years time, when we're all still alive, maybe people it realize could have like exactly saved benefits, humanity yeah. or something. Exactly. It's, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really complicated. Yeah. Uh, have anything else? Uh oh! Uh, after there was also like, uh, f do you guys believe in like fate and uh, coincidence? Ooh. Like, uh, do you believe that, uh, like we became friends, like we went to the same high school, and it was like God, and He put us all together because like there is a reason for it, or do you just believe like some things are just a coincidence? <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. It is. That's a tough one because certain things are just too good or too coincidental to be like accidental yeah so i don't know I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know i remember one day I, I was on a call with a friend of mine and uh like we were saying she was saying that um that it's it's weird sometimes 
how like she doesn't like the fact or that um if you believe in fate you're kind of saying that you have no choice over what mm, really yeah, happens yeah, in yeah, your life yeah. and i was saying like like yeah and that's why i i don't want to always believe in like in fate and in luck because that means that i can't truly control what's going to happen in my life mm. yeah so what do you guys think see the thing is I don't think things just happen, but at the same time, I don't. I don't believe in fate <laughs> like that. You know, I don't think I have a path in this earth. Like, I, like, I, like something is defined for me. I don't think that's it. I think I choose where I go, and I can like. Uh, it's stupid, but I can do this or do that. You know, I don't think that was written or <laughs> it was predicted maybe it was or what. <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe it was. <laughs> But uh, that might have just me? changed somebody's life, bro. Hey, Somebody might have gone, "Oh my God, the way he moved that light inspired me." But f for me, nah, I can't believe in faith. Because if I did believe in faith, I wouldn't work. I wouldn't do stuff. Because, because it means that something is already pre like defined for me. So no matter what I do, I'm <laughs> gonna get there. Imagine maybe it's being a loser. <laughs> maybe yeah, it exactly. coincides with the you know the the quote. Um, uh, what is it? Luck is when opportunity meets yes. preparation, yeah, you know? That's a great quote. Maybe you have, you have something that you can achieve for sure, but if you're not willing to go after it, if you're not willing to prepare for it, you won't, you know? Ooh. So it's kind <laughs> of predefined, but not completely, you hmm. know? That way you, you have a certain type of control, but it's not completely out of your hands. You know? I saw something I like that, that somebody compared fate like that, like to that. like... Uh, like uh, God will like show you paths like here, like this is what you could do kind of. Mm -hmm. And after you're the one that chooses which one, to uh, which follow. path you decide to follow. Like if you know you're smart and like, there's just like something inside of you telling you, usually sometimes like you have a little hint of like this, this feels like it could go somewhere, but you decide, yeah, you know what? I'd rather party. I'd rather mm. like do something else. And you just chose another path, but fate was showing you something else. Yeah. So it comes back to that. You know the fact that you maybe have a choice. Yeah, and I like to believe that I do. I have a choice. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I can be whatever I want. Mm. Yes. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> no, but yeah. But I mean, why do you believe in fate? <laughs> you do. No, I see no, you I hesitating you too do. much yeah, about what I'm saying. He does. Mm, I mean, I do believe in fate, but there's just like you know when you really want something so bad. And I hate to think that it's not fate for it to happen. You know? Like what? True, true. Give me, give me <laughs> like an like in my mind, hey, there's yo. no doubt that I'm going to achieve my goals. Oh, yeah, know? me neither. And maybe but I feel, I don't if know it's if not fate. fate, then it's not going to happen, yeah. you know? <laughs> nah, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. And maybe I have that drive because it is my fate. Exactly. Ooh. That's what I think. Like, I think it, was, it wasn't a coincidence that we met exactly at the same time we met. Like, all the shit that went through... Like that we yeah, went through yeah. together like it was there was a reason behind it. it brought us together and it's what led to us having this podcast and the other projects that we're working on together so yeah i do believe in fate but after like it's so the other part it's like yeah like fuck did this not happen did it did i not did i not talk to this person or did we not end up like together or something My just problem. a bunch of shit because it wasn't meant to be and it's not fate or it's like yeah or it is fate my problem you know? with yeah. faith is it's too good of an excuse. Like if something doesn't happen to you or if something happens to you, you just say, oh, oh it's faith. Thing. Oh, it, it, it's out of my control. Are you saying faith? It's faith. 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 Oh, my. I'm faith is God. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is it different? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the same faith. No. No. It's so faith. 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 Yeah. My bad, guys. Not good at English. Okay. Um, sure but yeah, for me, for me, it's too good of an excuse. All right. Like. If I don't know, let's say I didn't have a good grade. Oh, it's not my fault. It's fate. Oh, mm. uh, oh, this didn't happen to me. It's not my fault. It's fate. So I don't like to. What I used to tell myself for physics. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> so I don't. I don't. I don't want to believe in it because I think it's too. It's it's a way out. Yeah, that is fair. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But can I see your phone? No, you can't. Thank you. Put your password. You don't know my password. I thought we were friends. It's your fault if I don't know your password. I've told you my password at least ten times. Y yeah, you think you really thought you were that important for <laughs> me to remember? You. So back to bullying Sayed. Yeah, all right. We're back to this. I'm this bullying is bullying him. Spot. You know that motivates me. 
You what? guys oh bullying me. Oh my god. That's the whole point. That motivates For me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> See that transition? Motivation. I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We do it to motivate you. Why? It's intentional. Uh, why? Because I know what was on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but no, I had a transition for that. You fucked up my transition. Oh, my bad. But you were taking fine. too long. Yeah, bro. it was. Okay, but like. Uh, not a fact that I forgot my job. Whatever. Okay, okay, yeah, but that, 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 that does motivate me. Because not only you guys. Wait, knowing that it's fate or knowing that it's not fate? Oh, wait. What? Knowing that it's fate. Wait, I don't know. Ah, that was, that's the past. We're talking about something else now. Oh, me, us bullying This guy is so yeah. dumb, bro. I tried my to bad. transition. I God, fucked yeah. up your transition. Yeah, you I'm, it's, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do better. You should. But, uh, yeah, like, you guys just making fun. Of, it's not making fun. I know you're kidding, but you... <laughs> why why did you look like that, man? <laughs> We're kidding for sure. For, yeah. yeah. Like, All right. I can't yeah. Let him know. You guys making fun of me once, like, it makes me want to do better and be better. So next time I say something, you can't make fun because it's something like so good. Like, oh crap! Even if try I to prove to it's make, wrong. <laughs> yeah. Even if I wanted to make fun of him, I couldn't. And that's that's true. And everything in my life, that's true. Like even school. Um, I've talked about this, but I was a dumb kid. I'm not dumb, all right, but like I was a dumb kid, and uh, I I didn't do it for other people. I just wanted to prove me wrong. I wanted to prove myself that I could do it, but obviously it's based on what other people were saying of me. Of me, and even just people not wanting to be in the same group as me for a project. I was like, oh, mm. all right, <laughs> I, one day you're gonna pay to be in my group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that was annoying. Yeah, it was, and that motivated me in some like i remember like some of the biggest learning lessons it's when you're humiliated you know when yeah. your teacher says something you're like this motherfucker and like you never make a mistake i like have that an example again. in my mind already go go nah i won't say his name bro i don't <laughs> like him that <laughs> I, I have a teacher that told me um i had like an 11 and he told me oh if you continue this way you won't pass Ooh. yeah he he told my dad that Oh, I think. Uh, oh, I physics. think I know you're. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what this motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, he's such a dick, bro. <laughs> he told me I wasn't gonna pass, and uh, then I had the motivation to prove him wrong. You know, bro. Well, yeah, his class, I couldn't. I couldn't. I even no one when could. I tried. No I could. one could. <laughs> yeah, but I like he. He really thought he was that important. Like his class was a be all end all. You yeah. know. Yeah. I remember one of my French teachers. Um, this was when I arrived in Angola. Uh, she we had to hand in like this poem or something, uh, or like some type of essay, and uh, I was like I was like really motivated for this. I was like, you know, I I want to prove to myself that I can get a good grade, and I worked my ass off, and like I did it. I got an eighteen, and after she pulls me aside and she's like, uh, yo, did you uh, did you cheat on this? I'm like, no, <laughs> I did it myself. And, oh. she's, and after she goes, are you are you sure? With that and after I was like, respect. And after I was like. <laughs> I was like, I, and I did it completely by myself, like to make it more believable. Like, oh my, well, my dad helped me out a little bit, even though he did yeah. it. Also, oh, okay, makes sense. Well, you know what? Uh, I think uh, it's a minus two. Really? No, she didn't give me one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she she did go. I got I got an eighteen. Uh, and at first in France or in the French system, they oh, don't yes. believe you deserve a twenty. Yeah. But she was like, oh, I just didn't give you a twenty because I didn't think you did it by yourself. That's what she told me. Oh damn. And I was I was hella pissed. And was that in Angola? And yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I got my uh, brevet and I got très bien, uh, in the beginning I asked her oh, like, okay, what I do know you what need? Teacher it is. Yeah, I, I I asked her what do you need to do uh, to get on très bien, and uh, uh, très bien is like honors, like very good. Yeah. Um, and uh, she was like, uh, she said uh, something along the lines of like, yeah, you don't really need to worry about it, like something uh, like that. <laughs> and after what teacher like, are you talking about? Really? Yeah. I was thinking about another one. Where I know y'all were checking her out, but mm. not y'all. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know. Bro, she was the fine teacher. What do you want me to say? Um, yeah, and after, you know how they put the results, like, yep. uh, in front yep. of the whole school? So it was there, and after, when when I got it, she was like, oh, you got you got that? I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, man? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. And yeah, there's uh, when so you're many. Too agitated. Yeah, yeah. Know, that's how she gets me. But uh, another motivation was also like a big motivation for me uh, was like failure. 
Like mm. I, I, I told them like yesterday, like sometimes I used to be more scared of failure than actually winning. Like you know, some people have the desire to win, but for me, I like it used to terrify me more to lose or to fail than win. You know? Yeah. But failure. But now it became but they're intertwined. They are yeah, intertwined. Exactly. But now failure. it became the opposite. Like, uh, like sometimes it's like, oh, if I fail, it's okay because it's normal to fail. But that's not See, always that's, the right the mindset goal is to, to win. Ha- yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Failure can be both a motivation or like something to stop you from doing stuff. Yeah, because you can be motivated from the fear of failing, or not attempt something from the fear of failing. Yeah, and that's crazy. It just shows that it's all about your mindset. And uh, if you want to succeed in life, I think I'm a kid, right? But if if I, you want to succeed in life, you gotta work your mind to True. like to see the po- see the positive in things and. And be strong mentally. It's not easy, obviously, but that's what you got to work your brain for, to do. So. Um, yeah, like, like mind, like mindset sometimes gets you much further than you ever think. Like, you believing that you can achieve something without. Like, sometimes I'll go into a test. I'm like, I'm gonna ace this without having studied and just getting yourself there mentally. The amount of times I've done that, and it, and it just works. Like, I really feel like the brain is literally yeah. the most powerful part of your body. Like the, the <laughs> I mean, no, but, yeah. yeah, but people, I don't know. You might choose like strength over intelligence yeah. and stuff like that. But I feel like if you have the right mentality, you can do anything. Right? I think what you want to say is it's not even the brain; it's the mentality. Yeah, mentality. Because yeah. I feel like your life is based on that. Even I, I don't know if you've seen that, and this is a really dumb example, but uh, how how people perceive you on like I'm talking about attractiveness. If you're a really confident oh. person, people will see, will think that you're more attractive. Uh, yeah. And if you're a more like shy person, or like more when you enter a room and it's just like, yeah, the way you your demeanor, it, yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, what motivates you guys? Like, what do you think is your your real biggest motivator? Do you think it's like humiliation? You being competitive? What, what do you think it is? I think it's uh, the f- yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For me, it's just I don't want to disappoint people that believe in me. Uh, that's part of my motivation really and, yeah and for me is wanting to prove myself right and not proving that they're wrong just proving myself right mm, I, get if, yeah. I get that i feel like i'm my biggest motivation like yeah nothing like i don't want to fail myself you know i don't do it for anyone else like oh. i have my goal i'll do anything i'll do everything i can to reach my goal it's not like i have a failure uh, a fear of disappointing anyone else mm. you know yeah why are you attacking me, bro? You're saying you're better than me? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if that's what you're taking away from it. <laughs> uh, wait, I wanted to say, what did you just say? I'm so tired that of I'm my brain <laughs> is not working. I'm my own motivation, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's he, doesn't want, he doesn't care about disappointing other people. That's what he said, because he's a dick. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> No, I, I can't be again. my own motivation. <laughs> nah, bro, that's a dick. Oh, move. okay. Too cocky. Okay, for me, it was. I, okay, this sounds bad. You thought he was cocky. In my head, huh, I'm better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Don't worry about me. Okay, <laughs> No, but yeah, I swear, like, in my head, like, I hate being average at anything. Oh, yeah. Like, I despise being average. Hmm. Like, at anything I do, like, that's why I'm always on time. Like, Okay, maybe not for physics, but like there, <laughs> there, there, like things where I'm like, if if I want this, like you're gonna get it. Yeah, like when people try to compete with me, it's like, bro, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Like we're gonna go all the way to the end, and if I drop out, it's because I chose. It's like, <laughs> drop out. Not because I can't do it. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's like fake. it's like I got better shit to do. You know what? Yeah. Here, take it. No, but like that ass, and it was just like as a kid, like. Not yeah, uh, a bit older, like a teenager. Is just like I didn't want to like die not having done anything. Like I think that's my biggest motivation. Just, just to to illustrate what he was saying about himself, I once yeah. saw him. Oh, I think you were. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Go I ahead. Think you, I'm scared now. You weren't there, but I once saw him boxing a dude twice his size. And like actually ah. boxing him, the dude I broke, broke my tooth. <laughs> you didn't break your tooth. No, the I said dude broke, broke his tooth, and he didn't didn't want to give up, bro. <laughs> you he, you he really went, thought you could take him? Bro, he, I he went harder, bro. I did. I was like, God damn, this kid, bro. What, like I, I was fighting well, and after he got me with a punch, and when I'm pissed, bro, it like it, it was like it yeah, turned on the switch. <laughs> 
What do you mean? What you you know how you get, man. I don't get. I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. But yeah, like he hit me with this one, and I was just like, I was like, yeah, you're dead now. <laughs> and like this bro, the done. dude was twice. I mean, bro, actually, big guy. I was like, damn. Uh, yeah. I forgot you saw that. Yeah, I was <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, it was just like I didn't. I don't want to like if I I want my name like to be remembered. I don't want to be. I don't know, like my, my guy wants if, to. If I'm living, I wanted to have like an impact, and I want to be, I want to do something important for other people. I won't embarrass you, but <laughs> we know the the twenty Bs. Not only that, you bro, get it? My guy wants to win a Nobel Peace Prize. You're doing a goddamn podcast on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this watch. <laughs> this is gonna be clipped in twenty years. Watch. This is nah, why you're fired. You, right before I, I fire you, it it's gonna be the clip. You oh, fire me. You have a podcast on you. <laughs> you're not gonna be shit with your life. I, I didn't say that. Hey, I didn't uh, say that. La, la, la. That's how I take. It. I, I, I took it personally. <laughs> you know that meme from Michael Jordan. Trying to move Felicia. Trying to move you. Wait, I can't speak anymore. All right, next. Motivate. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm trying to motivate. Good you. job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Back to kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. I, I didn't go to kindergarten. That's oh it. yes, you did. I didn't. Maternelle. What do you mean? No, it's not kindergarten. The one before school. Kindergarten, maternelle. No, the one before that. Crash. You start going to school when you're three years old in France. Kindergarten or like nursery, as for like the British system. This is boring. yeah, but no, but fuck it, this. I know, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying to share. Something. Go back to Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> boycott, boycott, boycott. Uh, did you guys see the line? I want to talk about the line. Uh, what line? Uh, the line. The line that they're trying to build. About the line. I heard lion. Oh, no, me too. Lion. I did. I think. Oh. But then I, yeah. Dick. Okay. <laughs> Uh, did you guys? I mean, I know you saw it because I sent it to you. Yeah. Uh, the line that they're building it. I was watching um, an architect talk about like actually the feasibility of the line and how it would work, and it's just a horrible project. Hey, like yo, no, you but do it, better. Yeah, <laughs> I told you when I want something. No, I'm mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, we said we weren't gonna talk shit about our project anymore. So. Um, but yeah, and the architect was just saying that, like, how, like, it's a line cutting a whole desert. So, like, the biodiversity oh, in the desert you could the be. One in, oh, okay. I can, oh, I get you're it. only getting it now. Yeah, I, I, was, I was so confused. <laughs> like, like, like get going? to the point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, how also they're, what, what was it? It was half uh, half a trillion? What are we talking about? Half a trillion dollars for the project. I think it is a trillion. It's a trillion. A trillion. Oh, it went to a trillion. Okay. Yeah, and she said that it makes no sense uh, for them to be wasting that much money on a new city when they have plenty of cities uh, p- filled with, like, poor people and just people suffering. Like, why would you waste that much money on a new city when you could use that money to fix what you already have? And also, she said that, like, we don't realize it, but it's a it's an extremely political move because how so um but we know we have this image of qatar where i feel like it's a race to like kind of show that they're advanced exactly like Like she was saying that it's basically that how it's to shift their uh their the perception the perception that the world has on them because we see them as sometimes like an oppressive uh well they're not a country just Uh, yeah yeah yeah, like an oppressive culture and stuff and this because makes it like more modern uh high tech uh cutting edge and they also want to make the line like a business hub where ceos and just like people and executives will just fly in and out of the city and it's a place where they could be where could, they could feel more comfortable because it's not directly in qatar you know is it in qatar it's not a guitar sir uh in yeah. saudi yeah, I, saudi. For, I forgot where it is exactly. saudi but yeah whatever Saudi? I forgot. <laughs> Are we just talking look it up, look it up, look it up. Yeah, please. But yeah, it's that huge city with a... Uh, how long is it? One kilometer long? No. Oh, Whoa, right. one kilometer? It's a lot longer. True, one Bro, kilometer you know, is One shit. kilometer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's really huge. long. Yeah, it's, really, it's huge. But yeah, uh, so and it's still one to ten. Do you think... Like, do you if it'll happen. Yeah, if it'll happen. Do you think it will? 
It'll happen, but did you see how long they they expect to? How long? It's like a hundred year project. Hey yo. Yeah. Really? It it's done no by way, by bro. steps. No way. Yeah. It is a hundred year project. So They're I won't expecting be here to, to see finish it? it. You will, but not the whole thing. That's crazy. Like it might open in fifty years, but they'll still be refining, continuing the constructions and shit. That's great, bro. The thing is, I don't think they're gonna finish it ever. Yeah, maybe one not. Trillion I mean, one dollar, trillion, it's a lot a, of one money, trillion bro. dollar investment. And Imagine shit Angola, goes bro. down, like I don't know, a war or exactly. whatever, a crisis. And bro, somebody that comes from Angola, I know that, and nothing like something that big. It's uh, is Saudi never Arabia. Accomplished. Boom. Saudi Arabia. All right. Thank well, you. I think it's United uh, Arab. Uh, no, right. no. What United uh, Emirates. Uh, Arab. Oh. Wait, Saudi Arabia. Bro, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't whatever. matter. <laughs> yeah. You sound like idiots. God damn it. You're an idiot, bro. Uh but yeah, it's I think it's stupid. Not stupid, but it's bad for the environment. Not the environment, but like animals around there for the ecosystem. It is terrible. <laughs> exactly. It's really bad for the eco- ecosystem. That there's animals, there's it's even I think pointless. you told me that even for birds. Some birds can't fly that high, so they wouldn't be able to like fly it's taller and than the Eiffel Tower. Past. It's actually made out of glass, yeah. and just the fact that it's made out of glass could have a huge impact on all animals because they want to go through. No, yeah. and, and not only that, it generates a lot of heat. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? So, bro, physics, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that yo, because you don't know, you trying to make me look dumb. <laughs> no, no, I mean physics, man. That's all I got. If you don't know, you don't know, man. Um, oh, really? All right. Uh, show me your phone. Another transition coming. <laughs> what Password. the transition is? Password. The Musketeers podcast has come to. <laughs> and it, it hasn't. What it has actually. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're too good at this. But yeah, Damn. let's finish with the topic ecosystem. Yeah. It is terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. Boom. Done. <laughs> Conclusion. This is how we're ending. Oh, by the way, bringing it back to guitar. I don't know if you saw, but they built like huge uh, ventilators for the World Cup. Uh, so ventilator. not only you didn't because it's super, it, like it's super yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, mi caliente, mi caliente, sí. So the, for the stadium, they had to build ventilators, or else it would be too hot for the players and too hot for the people. So not only it's like against equal rights, it also pollutes a lot. Oh yeah. yeah, but all these modern countries like it's a sacrifice that you have to make, you know, What's in order to get. We're all gonna in die. order to get more modern, you have to sacrifice bro, bro, a little bit of this. I can get heated about this. What? A lot of European countries try to get on uh, developing countries like balls because oh yeah, uh, well you're doing all of this, but it's not sustainable. It's not eco friendly and all of that. But it's like you guys didn't realize that you literally spent 50 years polluting the world. You still pollute more than us. And now that you're trying to revert back, you're not even giving us the time to like catch up to catch up using the technology you had, you know, so it's not fair. I don't agree with that. Because just because, (laughs) yeah, just no, just because if we want to fix this problem, a problem that concerns all of us, we can't think about individual nations and be like oh you did it so i can do it now no no i know that's not the way we should think about it but i and, and i do agree that we can learn definitely learn from european countries but you can't blame african countries to like they're oh, doing the best yeah, of what they I have and you can't be like them. oh well yeah well you're polluting the world it's like definitely not but i think i, I do think african countries should find a way to evolve, to like grow in another way because we're well, trying to fix the same sure. problem Especially because we're not trying to like copy exactly. European countries and shit. We gotta find our own way to evolve our own strategies, our own, you know, uh, you strengths. Know, you know the guess I'm thinking about when we should have him. When yeah, when we invite him on, we should talk about how a lot of uh, African countries try to westernize themselves instead of like developing. Because a lot of, we relate uh, development to becoming more European, but that's yeah. not what development is about. We just have to find our own path and find technology and development that works for us. Pa-pow. That's how we end it. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Go follow our goddamn Instagram, please. Uh, share, like, like, and like subscribe. subscribe. Turn on the goddamn notification bell. And don't forget to comment, right? Yeah. No, actually, like we talk about 
serious serious stuff in this in this podcast. Yeah, comment comment, <laughs> comment what you think about what we talked about, what you think about the situation. And actually are. comment. If any of you make it to the end, just leave a <laughs> comment. Of you. Leave, just leave a little heart. Say leave Anderson a little I best. made it. Yeah. Yeah. The what? Huh? Anderson is That's the what? That's crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Peace. Bye. Peace. Ciao, bitches. I always end it like this. Bro. <laughs> <laughs>